welcome back to yet another Friday, Friday, Friday reviews, Friday, Friday, Friday film reviews. Yep, that's right, it's Friday reviews again, and today I'm going to be talking about a movie that was released on Monday that I didn't think I was going to, well, I wasn't sure if I was going to enjoy it. Of the three that I picked up on Monday, this was the one that I wasn't sure about, and I really quite enjoyed it, and it is The Big Short. So this movie was nominated at the Oscars for Best Picture. I am trying to watch all the Best Picture nominations um, so that I can kind of do a look back at the Oscar. I mean, I know the Oscars have been and gone now, uh, but I do want to do a look back video talking about uh, my favourites and least favourites and the ones that I liked and what I thought and stuff. Um, but yes, this one, obviously, as you can see, has a really great cast on the front. And it's about um, kind of like when the recession in 2008 hit because of the like the drop in I mean I still I watched this movie and I still don't quite understand it was like about mortgage bonds and the fact that how they affected things and the way that they fell through and the people who knew about it before it was going to happen and all things like that and it kind of sounds like it's going to be kind of boring but this movie made it so fast and quick and fun and interesting uh, the way that it was edited the way that it was shot the way that it was dealt with and it also didn't just overpower with everything it did some like really funny little quirks where it tell you things in a funny way like here's you know xyz to explain you, you probably won't understand it until you see the movie um but yeah so it was definitely something that i didn't know too much about going into this in the year of 2008 i was 15 so it at the time it wasn't i knew about it and it was i mean this is set in america but you know it was kind of a, a thing but and you know, I had known about it and stuff, but it wasn't like a big thing in my mind, I guess, as much as maybe it would be to some other people. Um, but the movie was just kind of so interesting, and I really liked um, Christian Bale's character, and I also really liked Steve Carell's character. Ryan Gosling was just kind of, he was okay, he was fun, he was okay. And um, Brad Pitt kind of, I feel like it didn't matter that it was Brad Pitt, you could have switched him out with somebody else, his character didn't feel Brad Pittish, it was just his character was fine but it was just he didn't it i felt like it didn't matter if it was brad pitt or not which maybe sounds weird um but yeah so i i, I didn't think that i would enjoy this movie as much as i did and also it's um ow i just bit my lip i'm sorry um it's two hours long maybe it'll give or take a little bit it might be 210 or something and i kind of thought is this movie gonna drag but it really just flew by and it was definitely one that i i did actually pause it for a moment um i think i went to get something to eat or drink and sometimes if I'm watching a movie and I happen to pause it, it means it's just doomed. I just don't go back to the movie. Um, but no, I went straight back in, got straight back in with the movie, and it just, the way, like I say, the music in it, the way that it was shot, the way it was filmed, edited the script, it was all kind of very funny and interesting and engaging, but it still told the story really well. I found the story to be really interesting. I definitely felt like I learned a lot watching the movie, um, and... It was just, I, I, based on a true story, of course, about these people who, like I say, had known what was going on with these kind of mortgage bonds and the way that they were kind of put together with all these kind of different mortgages. I, it was kind of, I can't explain it, like, back now, but if you if you even just watch the trailer, you'll probably um, understand the kind of the basic plot of the film. Um, but yeah, I, I gave the movie four and a half stars, which obviously is a really great rating, but I feel like it almost... It almost should have a five just because of the way that it was done and I think I can see why it was nominated for best picture of course I mean I've watched nearly all the best picture ones now and even though if I give this one four and a half that is actually I've given pretty much all the others five so this one is kind of on the low end so if this is my least favorite of the best pictures you obviously know there was a really great bunch um, this this past year and I don't know if you haven't seen this movie and you have you think you'll even enjoy it like a little bit like even the cast or anything or you have any interest in it at all I definitely recommend you go ahead and check this one out like I say the concept itself wasn't something that I was too drawn into it's not something that I would typically I, I think like I wouldn't typically pick this up but I did want to pick up all of the best picture nominated movies because uh, I wanted to watch them all and see how they kind of all how I could compare them all it was just something I wanted to do so I feel like this is one that I maybe wouldn't have picked up had I been doing that I maybe would have held off on it a bit and I'm really glad that I didn't I'm really glad but because I was doing that I managed to watch this movie um so hopefully maybe some of you will go ahead and watch this one I definitely love to know your thoughts and I haven't heard too many reviews reviews about it because I tried to stay away a little bit on hearing too much about it because I kind of like to do that now um but yes yeah, so I'm not sure how publicly well i mean obviously critically it was well acclaimed because it got um, nominated for the oscars but uh publicly i don't know quite how 
it did, I think I did look at actually some reviews up on Amazon after I, I mean, Amazon, uh, after I'd watched it, I think it had, for the most part, it had quite a few good reviews, I mean, some people said they didn't enjoy it, they found it quite boring, um, but I definitely don't think you could find this boring, it reminded me slightly of, um, The Wolf of Wall Street, obviously it did deal with Wall Street and other things, but it kind of wasn't as as eccentric as that but just in some ways of the way that it was filmed and stuff but the wolf of wall street i definitely enjoyed less than this i mean the the are different in the concept entirely but it's just it, the way that it was kind of maybe shot and edited some of it kind of did remind me of this so if you enjoyed that maybe you did enjoy this i don't know but yeah there's definitely a few moments in the way that it was filmed that kind of had reminded me on that anyway either way i enjoyed the movie i gave it four and a half stars it kind of is tittering on a five i'll have to think it over and i might change it so when i do that oscar video let me know in the comments below if you do want me to do that video um i might have changed it by then because i do think it was it's it deserves it because of the way that it was done and the way that it's st it saved my brain and the way that it's kind of impacting my thoughts i don't know hope that makes sense to you guys um but yeah thumbs up if you guys enjoy friday reviews let me know your thoughts on the big short if you have seen it will you be watching it did you enjoy it what did you think of it and yeah until then guys i will see you next time thank you for watching goodbye